Humans are makers. We can take dead things, a pen, a brush, some scraps of paper, and turn it into art. But art takes work, craft, and art forms find their makers as much as their makers find them. Why does that happen? What really goes into making art? That's what this show is about. We tell the stories of ordinary people and the hard work of their extraordinary art. I'm Kevin Elliott, and this is Craft. I wasn't that good in football. I, I wasn't that good in basketball either. That's why I probably didn't like the uh, group sports or anything like that. But when it came down to boxing, I felt like I was gifted and I just took advantage of it to the fullest. Boxing is one of the oldest sports known to humankind. It's popular around the globe for its flashy characters, spectacular hype, and violence. Boxing is also one of the most elemental sports, the ultimate one-on-one. -on -one. Two people who have pushed themselves to peak human form are trapped in a box. There are only two ways out of that box, to win or to lose. This is Emmanuel Austin. He is a professional boxer. He has won all his professional bouts so far, every one with a first round knockout. He is a prime boxing specimen, physically and mentally. Emmanuel trains in the downtown boxing club in Panama City, Florida, where he also teaches boxing with his trainer, Felix Melespin. Felix is like a master carpenter, honing Emmanuel's body and skills for optimal lethality. They need each other. Together, they make a finely tuned boxing machine. This kind of team is rare in boxing, or in life for that matter. This is their story. I've been involved in boxing since 1995. You know, uh, I was born and raised in Nicaragua, Managua, Nicaragua. And Nicaragua is a, it's a country of, uh, you know, uh, boxing is it's it's part of the culture. You know, it's just a lot of boxing. In a country like America, where baseball, basketball, and football play outsized roles in childhood, it is hard to understand the importance of boxing to kids in countries like Nicaragua. I used to uh, get with my brothers and we used to put socks, you know, and put clothes inside the socks and tape them and go in the backyard and, and just fight. Felix was also a professional boxer before he was a trainer. The sport took him from Managua all the way to Vegas, where he ended his career. But he knew he couldn't leave boxing. I was 26 years old. And at that point, I started training fighters because I loved the sport and I kind of wanted to stay involved. Felix was training in New Orleans when a lanky kid showed up for boxing class one day. Lightning struck. Manuel was one of the kids that came in, you know. He was like probably, I'm not really sure, about 17, 18. I started to work with him, and he told me, nobody works the meet with me before. Why? A former trainer, I broke his hand. Felix knew what to do with this powerful kid. The two clicked and started training. Even then, Felix knew Emmanuel was special. His physical attributes, strong, uh, a lot of power, you know, speed, started working with him on a daily basis, on the mids, little by little, because he was, he kind of hurt me a couple times, you know. When you see Emmanuel box, it's easy to see how that could happen. His power is frightening. But like any raw power, it needed direction. The first time in the ring, uh, I did bad. <laughs> I can say, yeah, it wasn't that good. I, I, but I hopped in the ring that was somebody with more experience than me, and oh my God, they hit me like three times, and I seen like white lights, like, boom, boom, boom. I remember the three punches, uppercut, hook, hook. And honestly, that was one of my friend's tools. The lesson was learned. 
natural gifts are only the beginning. To compete at high levels in this sport, the only way is through grueling work and singular commitment. If you really want to be a good fighter, you really have to put in the work and you really have to put in the time and consistency to, to get better. It's like you're married to boxing, so it's like, it is like your wife. Felix puts it another way. The boxing is like a jealous girlfriend. You have to be faithful to boxing. If not, you're going you're gonna to have consequences. Premier boxers are not just brutes, they are tacticians. Boxing is a martial art, and training your body is only the first step. You must also have a sharp, strategic mind. It's like an art. There's, there's things that you gotta do just to make people get open up. You gotta if at them, you gotta just make them think, you gotta have them on your feet. You gotta like keep them on the toes while you're inside the ring. And it is like playing chess sometimes. At the highest levels, it's the boxer's mental state that brings the victory. That's where the partnership between fighter and trainer makes all the difference. You know, so I know how to talk to the fighter, and I know that I have to try to bring the best out of them so they can, for, for themselves, really, because, you know, at the end of the day, they're the ones in the ring. Okay, training is over. It's time to step in the ring with a real opponent. In that moment, there is no hiding and there are no excuses. The fighters have put in the mental and physical work or they have not. But if they have, boxing is one of the most thunderous, beautiful, dramatic, moving human acts you will ever see. It is theater. In the end, boxing is like any other worthwhile human endeavor. Winning and losing are part of it, sure. But when you see this sport up close, you realize it's much more about care and partnership, about teaching and pushing each other to strive. It's about finding someone you can trust with your life and then giving yourself to them. Boxing, for all its violence, is a sport of love. Having a coach that I can trust and believe in that does wants the best for me, it's a blessing to have him on my side, and not just within boxing, but within my life. Uh, my intentions with my fighters is by the end of their career, they feel satisfied, they feel uh, comfortable with what they did, what they achieve in sport. When I look back, I look at the pictures, I look at the pictures when I was you know, a kid, and this has been a long journey, you know, but it was so worth it. And boxing kind of follows me everywhere I go.